Katrina. I'm Christina. And, and we're, we're the Gorgeous Geeks. Geeks. And we're here to talk about uh, the season a, finale of Fringe. Well, um, it was the most anticipated. It was voted most most, most anticipated, anticipated show to watch at the 2008 uh, San Diego Comic Con, Comic-Con. and I think it well delivered. Yeah. Uh, altogether, it was a really great show. Yes, it was very. Very science fiction, very, very, very science fiction, but very scientific. Every, yes, every episode had a great climax. Every episode had like a great cliffhanger or some like something, something that, go, what? that you know? reeled you in closer to the show. And I loved how there's also little clues in like every single episode. Like there, there was the Observer. In every like, single if you, episode. if you did not know that the Observer is in every episode, he was at the Super Bowl. He was watching American Idol. Idol yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. I would like to get. I, I didn't know it's like them. halfway through that the Observer was in every single episode. Yeah, I had to go I, on another YouTube thing and, and, and watch back yeah. because I did not know. I couldn't believe it. Like you know, they tricked me. And then even within the commercials, after every commercial, there's some type of symbol, whether it's a leaf, leaf or, or a hand, hand with, or with a six frog fingers, or, or with six fingers. Yes, seriously, it's six fingers. You, you Anyways, up. that's also a code or a clue to do with the episode. And, you know, that was very interesting. It, it's claimed that it spells out something. I, I have not quite figured out all the code myself, but I will try, darn it. And all the characters on the show, all of them are really, really great actors. I love Walter. I love the Walter character. Walter Bishop. He's hilarious. Okay, Fringe is a show about just uh, science has evolved well beyond what people can control and some scientists believe that there's a war coming and there is actually this manifest that's written and some people kind of follow it like a bible. And Walter was yeah. involved with the uh, accident lab and he re it resulted in, there's probably more to it but he had to go to a mental institution. Lost his mind. And, and but they needed to question him, the FBI needed to question him on some events that had been happening, so they had to go. The only way to get him out of the mental institution was to either get all these high and mighty orders from high up above that would have took Which too long. Which they had no time to do. Or they could go get a relative, and his only relative that they could get was his son, mm -hmm. Peter Bishop, who is involved in some questionable activity. So but that, it also is a genius in his own right as well. So it adds an interesting dynamic to the show. Yep. And so, and they uh, they keep coming across these experiments, and most of them that Walter actually had dealings with before, and so he them actually was, helped invent, you know, and created. And, and people have taken his research and just evolved it. Yes, and and, he, and he's but he doesn't like he doesn't really remember all of them, and I think that is so clever, and because he's like, he, even though some of these things he actually invented or helped created. He's still learning like everybody else, and it's just it's just great watching all the pieces come together in every single episode. And even though he had a lab partner way back when, and he ended up at a mental institution, his lab partner William Bell, who we learned in the season finale, is Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> he went off and and built the richest company in the world. Yes. And, and so it's kind of like all these events and things. Hmm. How did he back end up into, in the institution and he ended up very rich. Yeah, you know, it's kind of. But like, it, it, all all the things that they call the pattern all points back to Massive Dynamics, which is a company. But William Bell is so high, you really can't touch him. Yep. So. I really don't want Spock to be the bad guy. I I don't either. Maybe he's not, but. I, I think he should be like I like I've suspected it for so long, darn it! I I think I deserve that. Leonard Nimoy can always be nice. Yes, he can. He's logical. What does that have to do with anything? Just leave me alone. I'm sorry. I just it just has to pan out this way. It's what I wanted to be. Even, but even in the first episode, there was twists and turns. Like it was a it was a two hour premiere, and and then you just the whole time the main agent. Olivia Dunham is is trying to save her lover, and it turns out he was like a a bad guy, and then you found out halfway through the season that he wasn't even really a bad guy. Yeah, he was just undercover. Even though he was dead, she was still communicating with him and seeing him. And and it's not like 
spirits. You know, it's 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 all Science. scientifically explained. And then, and then you think that she was just, you know, by coincidence hired, you know, to do these all these investigations. Really passionate. But actually, she's just really She's just really good at actually, her Actually, she has also been a victim of the experiments that's been going on. When she was a child. Yeah, yeah. And so now she's starting to have these... Uh, powers almost manifest as far as she has like an ability to glimpse into other realities that just really started to come up with last week's the season the episode before or? Uh, la la last week is pyrokinetics and and and, and uh, she was seeing into alternate realities and, yeah, and it's just you know the, the show is just getting deeper and deeper and deeper and then this season finale for those of you who haven't seen it and they're just gonna wait to watch it who prepared to be um, Spoiled because I'm gonna give you a spoiler. Peter Bishop is dead, <laughs> and the one that's on the show is from an alternate universe, and I think that is just so amazingly awesome. Like I, when 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 the I observer when they, when Walter had said that the observer saved his saved his son's life because his son had drowned. They, I yeah, just they, thought like maybe he brought him back to life some type of way. I just didn't or, or maybe they got him out of time before he had died, but. But um, yeah, I, I just didn't think that he just died all together. I guessed it though. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> and I and I and I was thinking But it wasn't obvious though. I'm like Do you think Peter's dead? Seriously, it was it's you can't you can't really guess what's gonna happen on the show. You really, really yeah. can't. It's just so beautifully well written and if Fox doesn't bring this show back, oh my gosh. I guess I won't do anything, but I'll be upset. Very upset. This was a very, very, very good show. Very well written. All the actors are really great. Um, I, I can't even stress how good this show is. If you have not seen Fringe, you just need to see it for yourself. Um, watch it on the internet. Rent it when it you when you can. Uh, you one benefit is that you can watch. It I mean, all. this is one sci-fi show that can go on forever literally can go on forever and it can't and I mean and it won't get tired some plots they can get tired um some do, some TV shows I mean I mean this is I mean this show is just like it's never ending entertainment and even though it's um weird and and just all these things that you maybe see you like on the sci-fi channel or it doesn't quite even feel like that yeah it it's just like a a cop show and there's something weird and they have to find out what it is but it explained well and beautifully by a crazy person <laughs> it's, it's like who will entertain you every episode there's like, always a Walter it's like sci-fi channel meets CSI we give it an A plus with two thumbs ups and and uh, ten stars and ten stars out of five yeah out of five, <laughs> ten stars because it's that darn good <laughs>